Hello to one and all. Welcome inside to the Speedy Channel on YouTube. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you all how to install this, um, I'm going to show you all how to install this, um, taser gun right here, which is going to be the X-26 taser gun and the real Liskit um, taser plug-in all coming up in today's speedy tutorial on LSPD FR. Get your ass on the ground. Alright guys, let's go ahead and get right into the download. It is 6.01 p.m. on September the 5th of 2024. I know it took me a couple months off, um, about a month or two, I believe. I've had a lot went on uh, with me, and you know, within, the, within that time period. And, and you know, I'm not going to um, say much, but I will say um, on this update, on on Grand Theft Auto 5 and the and the update before um my game actually absolutely broke and it took me forever to get my game back up and running the way the way it should be usually I ain't got that many problems out of my game um this is the first major problem that I've ever had since I've been playing the Grand Theft Auto 5. And I will have to admit, uh, it disheartened me and it made me mad. You know, and when you're modding so long, when you're modding so long, um, you know, on one particular game and you get it down right perfect and then, you know, they do an update and it kindly breaks it and then you have to do it all over again. Well, I found a way myself to, to bypass, you know, you can do the update, you can break it, but you can also save your files too and put the same files back in. Alright? Um, 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 I'm not going to have, I'm not going to explain, you know, all of that. Just, um, just, you know, believe me when I say... When I put, when I save my files, I can put my files that I had back in without no problem. This time around, I've had major issues. All right, and I'm finally getting my LSPDFR back up and running. So, let me say thank you for your patience enough, and let me say thank you to the 228 subscribers that I have got up on this recording when I was taking some time off. And I just want to thank you all for subscribing to this channel. And if you're new to this channel, and if you like what you see in past videos and upcoming videos, um, hit, me that, uh, hit that like button. Um, if you guys um, want to see more, um, hit that uh, subscribe button and you will, and click all and you guys will get everything that I do on here. I do it different from anybody else does, you know, but it's the same setup no matter how many people does it, you know, the same way or opposite way. It's the same setup, alright? So, let's go ahead and get into our tutorial for today, which is going to be our, um, we're going to install a Taser X26, and we're going to install a plug-in called the Real, Real Liskit Taser, alright, and, and these two, and these two right here will go together, and it is, it is, it, it, it's awesome, I got it back in my game, and it's totally awesome, alright, so let's go ahead and dive right in this 
um, plug in. It is 6:05 p.m. on September the 9th for two on September the 5th of 2024. I appreciate you all coming out here and looking at this video. Now, right, now the first thing I want you guys to do, right, real quick, somewhere out here on your desktop. Let's go ahead and get this out of the way. Left click, right click, go to new folder. All right, name that whatever you guys want. Mine is simply called the uh, Realistic Taser. Because we're going to have to go inside of our open forward to put this real um, put this uh, Taser X26 in our open forward. Alright? So, or whatever you guys want to name it, I'm already named mine. Alright? Alright, the next thing we need to do is come down here and find our GTA 5 main directory. Come down here to your file explorer and then right click on it and go to that pinned quick access Grand Theft Auto 5. If you guys don't know how I done that, I'll leave a I'll leave a description link on the top right hand corner right about now. Um it will show you all how to pin that over to your pinned quick access. It is much faster to do it like that. And I'll the next thing we need to do is go ahead and open up your open four. Or wherever you got it at, mine's down here at the taskbar. I'm gonna go ahead and um, open that up with with Grand Theft Auto 5 for Windows right here. All right, I'm gonna let that be loading up, and then once that loaded up right there, go ahead and minimize. Um, let's see what one I want to do first. Let's do this. Go ahead and minimize your. Grand Theft Auto 5 main directory. Go ahead and minimize that for now. All right, and I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go ahead and split this off here to a page like that. Now the first thing you guys is gonna do now is go to that first download link, which is gonna be your Taser X26 by Buford T. Appreciate this man. This is still my, one of my favorite stun guns of all time. Um, so I appreciate this stun gun. I really do. Um, guys, if you guys want the uh, stun gun here, go ahead and download the file here and, and download the um, Taser at 26 by Buford T, which was the last updated one was 2017, and it should still work from the current version that we're on. Go ahead and download it. And then once you all get done downloading it, click on the next download link, which is going to be your realistic taser. And this is going to be a plug-in. Alright? So, so when you all get done doing this and requirements, um, or all the requirements should be the same. Just go ahead and download the file here. And then what you guys need out here is the main file, realistic taser 1.1.3 zip. Go ahead and download that, and then once you all get done downloading that, um, whip those two files out on your desktop, and remember, I always open up in RimWire. Alright, now, the next thing we're going to do now is go ahead and open up your uh, Taser X26 by Buford Team. Go ahead and open that up. And then I'm going to split this off here right real quick. And while you're at it, go ahead and open up that readme.txt. I'm already know where to go. Um, mine's mine's going to take a minute for it to pop up here. I appreciate you all coming out here looking at this video. Hope to help you all out anyway, shape, form, or fashion. And then and, and the main instructions is going to be right here. We got to go to Weapons RPL, which I know exactly where that's at. So, let's go ahead and click on the Update button down here. Now, you click on your Mods button here. Yours may look different from mine, but like I said, I do mine a little different. So, so go ahead and you can click on that Mods button if you want to. And then you still got to go into update, all right? Mine's going to look a little different. But I'm going to get on the same setup where you guys are at, all right? So I'm going to go to update, time 64, and the DLC packs. Scroll down until you find the patch day 8.ng. Patch day 8.ng. Click on that. 
then click on the DLC.RPF. And if it says copy the mods folder or show in mods folder, do one or the two. Mine says show, so I'm going to show mine. Go to time 64. Go to models. Go to CD images. And then go to weapons.rpf. Now come back over here to your Rimwire page over here. Now you got a choice here if you guys want to. You can do the base. I think there is a cam one. You can actually do it with a camera. I believe I think it's got a cam on it. Which personally the way my GTA LSPDFR has been going on. I'm not going to use the cam. Or I'm not going to use the DXPM. I'm going to use the base myself. You guys can mess around with that if you guys want to. But I'm going to go to base. Alright. And then here is your stun gun right here. Now what I want you to do inside of your rim wire. Go ahead and click on that stun gun one time. And then hit F2 on the keyboard. Left control C is in Charlie to copy that uh, word. Come back over here to you open 4. In that search box. Left control V is in Victor to paste that in. All right. Now, if you look at it right now under the under the PI stun gun the YDR, if you look at it, and if your yours is like mine, it's going to be the vanilla type um uh, taser. All right, and that's one of, that's the one we're getting ready to change over. All right. So now what we're going to do now is these four pictures right here, all right, these, this whole entire files, go ahead and highlight it, all right, you should have four, if you left click and drag up on it, like that, you should have four files highlighted, all right, go ahead and right click on it and go to extract, all right, and we're going to extract that over to the folder that we just created um, at the begin at the beginning of this um, tutorial, all right, and it should be out there on your desktop. All right, mine is on a realistic taser, and then once you all find it, just go ahead and click on that folder that you all created to start saving your uh, original vanilla stun gun inside of that folder we just created by hitting select folder. Alright, and if you guys want to see if it's in there, all you got to do is click on your folder, and it should be in there. Alright, now if you didn't follow that step with me and decided to put it in another folder, I don't know what folder you put it into. That's the reason I told you all to actually create you another create you a new folder and name that whatever you guys want. Alright, so mine is in my so mine is in my file. Yours should be in your file too as well. Alright. Now what we're going to do now is come back over here to your rim wire. My mouse is a little sticky. Uh, come back over here to your rim wire and take every one of these uh, files right here. Now right, so for the two dots above. These four files right here. You're going to left click, drag it over here to you open four. And simply drop it in, and you're really going to see a kilobyte change, alright? And that just tells me that uh, mine's in there, and I hope you all's is in there too as well. And now, if you click on that PI PIStunGun.YDR, you're going to see that black X26 Taser, alright? And I do love it with the green cartilage that came with it, alright? Now... Once you all get done doing that, we got our taser in. Go ahead and hit um, file on your um, open four and go to close all archives. And then go up back up here to your search box up here and make sure you erase that, um, that stun gun out of your search box. All you got to do is highlight it and just backspace. Alright, now bring you back to right here. Close out of your open four, and then go ahead and close out of your rim wire uh, taser X26, and close out of the remake. All right, all right. Go ahead and bring up your Grand Theft Auto 5. 
main directory after I told you all to memorize it at the beginning of this. And then go ahead and go into your realistic tager 1.1.3. Go ahead and go into that. Split mine off into a page. And then go ahead and open up the realistic taser folder. And go ahead and open up that contents to GTA 5 folder. Alright, you're gonna take both of these plug you're gonna take both of these folders, uh, the, the spall caps, LSPDFR, and the plugins folder. You're gonna left click, drag it over here to your main directory, and then one, two, three, drop it in like a fishing line that you are fishing. Alright, and and if your highlights in blue, that means you guys has done it right. Alright. Now go ahead and open up I'm going to show you guys something right real quick. Um, go to small caps, LSPDFR inside of your um, main directory. Go to audio and go to SFX. Alright. Now the only one I got in mind is is the Cuffs, Cuffs Titan. Which if you played the sound, you're going to hear the sound of the Cuffs. Um being being put on someone but if you go to this one right here where it says uh um dry fire listen if i can bring it up here it's got a little um like a little bumping sound or a you know, it'd be a taser sound is what that is. It's only a half a second. But it but it does more than that, alright? But say like you guys don't want it. All you gotta do is just follow that, um... Um... Just follow that, um... Pathway I just showed you. And then all you gotta do is right-click on the SHT dry fire. Right-click and simply just delete it. Alright? So, let's go, I'm going to go ahead and go back up a level. If you guys is following me, I'm going to go all the way back to here. And then go ahead and click on plugins. Go to capital letters LSPDFR. And then what you guys is looking for is the realistic taser. I and I file. Alright. And then, while that is popping up here, let me take this time one more time to say thank you for coming in. Watching this video, hope y'all hope and help y'all out anyway, shape, form, or fashion. Alright. Um might take a minute for mine to pop up on my notepad. I don't know why it does it, but it does it. I don't understand that. And there it is right there. Alright. Now let me split this off into a page here. And then right here, and there's two two main important ones here, alright? The main one right here in your eye and eye, the probability of taser will be effective regardless of the range. This will only work if the second option is set to false. All right. Now, taser successively um, probability at 69. I'm going to leave that at 69. All right. But down here, remember what it said. This will only work if the second option was set to false. If the ta this is your second option. If the taser successively per um, probability shall depend on the range. More in ring me, this is more realistic option. This will invalidate the first option. Taser success based on range. You want to set that true to false. Remember what it said there a minute ago. This will only work at the second if the second option is set to false. So I'm going to change that false true to false. F A L S E. Just like that right there. All right. And now I'm going to leave everything else alone. Alright, I'm going to go to File, we made any changes, go to File, go to Save, and simply close out. And close out of this, alright. Guys, it is 7.30pm, I've done a lot of editing, um, I've done, you know, I had some interruptions and stuff like that, but you know, that goes along with it. 
but uh, on my end anyway. But um, guys, I'm getting ready to take you all inside for an in-game showcase of your Taser X26 and your realistic Taser inside of our LSPD LFR. All right, guys. There is one other thing. All right, there is one other thing that I did forget to tell you all. All right, I'm gonna tell you all what it is right real quick. All right, if you guys go back into your um, plugins and then your LSPDFR and then go down here to where it says Realistic Taser, just go ahead and click on that and bring up the INI file one more time. All right. Now come over here where it says if if the amount of shots in Taser should be limited, limited shots right here. That that is set to true. If you guys uh, want to leave that as true, you can. But me, it's going to be unlimited. Just change that over to false. All right. Now if you guys want to leave that as true. And you come down here to the next option down here where it says the amount of shots in taser before it runs out. Shot count two. If you leave that, it's true. And then if you shoot your uh, taser gun, it's only going to do it two times. All right? So you, I don't know how high it goes or, or we know how low it goes because it's already a two. So you set it to one, probably be one shot. So, uh, so if you guys want to change that over, um, I would recommend to change that over maybe to a 10 to start out with, um, you know, 10 shots. But for me, um, I went ahead and went the went ahead and went the, the other other route here. I wanted the unlimited shots, so I changed that true to false. All right. So, that's the only thing I want to tell you all right real quick. I appreciate you all coming in here, looking at this video. Now, let's go ahead and get into the in-game showcase of our um, Taser X26 and our realistic Taser inside of our LSPD LFR. Alright, welcome back inside to... Your in-game showcase of your X-26 Taser and your um, Realistic Taser inside of our LSPDFR. Appreciate you all coming out here looking at this video. Hope to help you all out in any way, shape, form, or fashion. Got a guy running here, so what you're going to do is you're going to bring up your weapon wheel and you're going to bring out your stun gun, just like that right there. And then you're going to point and you're just going to shoot. Just like that right there. We know that's working. We get in the first person view mode here. Well, you all can see it. And there's that X26 taser gun right here. I think it looks sharp. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Um, I think it looks sharp right here. Let's try out another victim here there for a minute. Let's see if there's one close by. Right there is one. I want to see you. Hey, sir, stop. Let me get it's got a pretty good range on it, too, so. Okay. Don't shoot me. I'll get you whatever you want. Get your ass on the ground. That's Police, what I want you to do. Let's see some hands up. But anyway, you guys know this here is working. And. And we're going to shoot them one more time here for the fun of it. And guys, that's going to wrap it up for this tutorial here. I appreciate you all coming out here, looking at this video. Hope to help you all out any way, shape, form, or fashion. We will see you guys on the next one. What are you doing? We'll see you guys on the next one. And we are gone, gone, gone. Peace out, guys. You too, Rabbi.